So Wes, you talked about uh, friendship and joy. What are the ways that you see friendship intricately connected to joy? Yeah, good question. I, I, I really think uh, they're, they're kind of two sides of the same coin in a lot of ways. That when we're talking about friendship, we're actually talking about joy. And um, one way to say this is that uh, friendship is uh, what joy looks like in the form of a relationship. Mm. Uh, that uh, if, if joy is, uh, you know, this free act, and again, uh, we look to the act of God in cr creation, um, in creating the world, not because God needed to realize God's self or God needed the world. God creates just out of pure joy. Uh, no, it's not out of necessity. Uh, that's, I think, a, a, a window into understanding friendship, that uh, it's not about um, our need for a relationship so much, uh, even though it's clear we do, we need friendships on all kinds of levels. Uh, but that's, I, I don't think that's the motivation of a friendship uh, is necessity. Uh, so freedom is kind of this defining mark of joy, and it's a defining mark of friendship. Um, I, I think we've made a mistake in emphasizing uh, the mutuality and reciprocity of friendship. Uh, you know, if you, if you sort of follow um, Aristotle, uh, friendship is about like with like. It's mm -hmm. about uh, kind of a commonality, which is, you know, why you can't be friends with a tree or something. Right. That, that's sort of the concern there. But uh, if, um, if relationships are just about mutuality and reciprocity, then we miss that this more defining feature of friendship, which I think is freedom, the voluntary choice uh, to decide to be friends with this person. Uh, there's no force in it. It's not like a family relationship. As, as beautiful as the family metaphor has been in the church for understanding, you know, church family is a beautiful right. metaphor. Um, but maybe church friendship could be even more provocative if we mm -hmm. remember that, that um, you know, you don't choose your family, uh, so, but you do choose, in some sense, to, to continue in friendship. You do choose to receive friendship. Uh, and uh, ultimately, it points to, to God's, the basis of all of this is God's friendship with us, that God has freely chosen to mm -hmm. give us God's friendship. Uh, and um, there's no mutuality in that. We can never <laughs> really give back to God. Um, and God didn't become friends with us because uh, God needed us to give something back. God just delights in us. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is uh, very different than the kinds of relationships we're used to having and that we've sort of, I, I think, just gotten comfortable with uh, in the church. So I really, I really think that we can, we can offer something different and we can open different kinds of spaces uh, in our churches to, uh, to freedom and not just to reciprocity and expectation.